Now, our next question focuses on food insecurity. From food banks to school distribution meal sites, there has been a lot of work across the state to make sure that people do not go hungry. Let's listen to this question. My name is Scott Andrew Bowen. Uh, I live in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. I am the manager of a food pantry here at a local church. Uh, we serve about 400 families each month, and since the, the shutdown, we have seen an increase of uh, people coming by for food assistance. Um, with the prediction of a uh, possible recession uh, in the economic section, um, we expect to see more people who are in food insecurity and who may be uh, suffering economically. So my question is, what is the state prepared to do uh, in the future for people who are in need, um, who are going to be Im impacted by the shutdown that's happening. Thank you. Congressman Bud, I ask you this question. What can Congress do literally to make sure there's food on the table? Well, to Scott, you're in my hometown, and I thank you for what you're doing. Uh, you, you probably didn't know, nor did I three months ago, how important your job would be. You knew it was important, but it's absolutely essential right now. So thank you. Thanks for what you do. Um, you know, we see uh, from, and your question was largely to the state, and I'm, so that's to the folks in Raleigh, but to those in Washington, uh, tremendous amount of support for the for SNAP benefits. And a lot of that funding is going to be directed to different food banks. Uh, perhaps you, you know, Second Harvest Food Bank is going to be supplying your food pantry, and that's where a lot of, uh, um, a lot of your funds, a lot of your uh, supplies come from. So anyway, we want to make sure that there's enough funding for those types of food banks, which can supply your local food pantries, but you absolutely, uh, absolutely important uh, role that you have right now, and I'm grateful you're there, Congressman Butterfield. Well, first of all, let me also uh, thank you for the question. Uh, food insecurity is an issue that we have been dealing with for years and years, and finally, I think the American people finally understand the importance of this issue. So many people are hungry. So many families are, are food challenged. And that's why food banks are so critically important. Our pantries are stepping up to the plate. Uh, we're trying to find a way to get some of the excess food that we hear about and see about on television to get FEMA, uh, to get these excess commodities and deliver these commodities to food banks. Uh, in the bill that we introduced today, the HEROES Act, there is a significant increase uh, for SNAP. Uh, that would be food stamps. Uh, for those low-income families who, who need uh, assistance in purchasing food. I'm very proud of the HEROES Act. It's a, it's a major step forward. It is a bold initiative, uh, but it's going to lift the American people. It's going to lift families. Uh, it's not a boondoggle. It is about investing in families and businesses in America so that we can bring this economy back. Uh, hopefully, we can talk about state and local support before the program is over, but we're investing more, almost a trillion dollars in helping states and local governments uh, prevent a disaster at the local level. We know what happens when cities and towns and counties do not have the resources. Uh, they have to cut services, uh, sanitation, police and fire and first responders. Uh, they have to cut personnel or they have to raise property taxes. And so mayors and governors all across the country are asking us for help. And almost $1 trillion is in this bill for state and local assistance, not to mention the, the uh, $90 billion that's in there for education. 